interactive veils exhibit and I wasn't sure what to think when I came but it's exceeded my expectations. Um, I really like the interactive component, the way you have to, the watcher has to make their own unveiling movement and the images are very striking. We've been here for over an hour and we keep seeing new things. What I see in this room uh, is what I haven't seen in my life. The contrast between East and West. Oh, I'm just like totally enamored by it. This is totally unique. I would say the uniqueness is amazing and um, politically right now, especially with, with the way Canada is dealing with people that are trying to become Canadian citizens. So there is something more than rejection or acceptance, which is some form of evolution. And that's what I see with this contrast. This work is phenomenal. Now, I absolutely love that from the mindset that this artist must have had to actually come up with. These beautiful images that is just out of my world. So all your if you want to see the photos, you have to keep moving. No movement, no photo, no sound. At left, you have Eastern woman, and on the right, you have Western woman. And when you stay in the middle of installation, when there's a hole, you have a 528 hertz sound, and these images, they mix. I am truly moved by this event, by the pieces. It's really opened my mind, it's expanded the way I think about women, and the dichotomy of women, the dichotomy of culture, and one is free, one is not, but at the same time, is she really free, is she not? I mean, it's just, it's, I'm coming away from this, like, with a lot of questions, and I'm hoping to think more and come back with a lot of answers, and I feel really privileged. Cette exposition dans un monde d'eau. Et voilà, euh, merci.